Shot movie. It is Sunday, and I figured this would be the best time for me to remember to make my video for this week. Captain's log supplemental. So this week, I will finally talk about reasons why I don't like Taylor Swift. When I talk about reasons why I don't like Taylor Swift, I'm going to ignore um, music style because there's lots of reasons why I don't like Taylor Swift because of her style of music. There's also plenty of like other good reasons why I don't like her besides her music, and music is kind of like a subjective thing. Um, what I'm mostly going to focus on is her lyrics. That's my water boiling for tea in case you're wondering what that scary noise is. I feel like all of Taylor Swift's music is clearly pandered towards her target audience. Um, it's always like a breakup song or an unrealistic love song, and I can't stand it. I think most of my frustrations... That's my tea. Tea, tea, tea. I think everything that I don't like about Taylor Swift can be summed up in one song, and that song is You Belong to Me, I think is the name of it. So we start, it's about this song, about this girl, and she has a problem because that guy she likes, likes another girl, and is, is in a relationship with another girl, and that makes her sad. Taylor Swift in this song has been friend zone and she just knows that if this guy will just break up with her girlfriend and realize that the perfect girl for him is standing right in front of them, they'll be in a relationship and they'll both be happy. Okay, so this song has lots of problems with it. First off, the friend zone, which, by the way, yes, girls can be in the friend zone. It happens. Um, second off, she's kind of just being a whiny pants about it. She's totally taking all of the blame and placing all of the blame on this girlfriend. So first off, she totally is shaming this girlfriend because, you know, she's a cheerleader and she wears high heels and short skirts and ooh, and somehow Taylor Swift is better. She's a better girl because she wears sneakers and t-shirts. I, I know I used to have this way of thinking because I tend to be a pretty low maintenance girl. Uh, and I used to have pretty negative feelings towards high maintenance girls. You feeling like, and also feeling like I'm kind of better because you know uh, I'm more natural. And um, it's kind of just crap. And I'm trying to get myself out of that thinking because you know what? Who cares if I'm low maintenance or high maintenance? Who cares if this girl's low maintenance or high maintenance? It's none of your business. And this boy seems to like her the way she is. So who gives a crud? There's another instance of this when um, Taylor, the girl called this guy because she was upset about something he had said. And then Taylor Swift says, you won't ever understand your humor like I do. And um, this girlfriend has every right to be upset with her boyfriend if he said something about her that hurt her feelings. Even if it was meant as a joke. It doesn't matter how you intended it, it matters how the person took it. And if this person, if this girlfriend has been offended or hurt by what her boyfriend has said, then yeah, she needs to talk to him about it and be like, hey, you know, I wish you hadn't said that. So there's no shame in that. So overall, the thing I don't like about, the biggest thing I don't like about this is Taylor clearly thinks that she knows who will be better for this boy as a romantic partner. And I'm sorry, but nobody gets to say who is best for this boy, except for that boy. It is this boy's decision on whether or not he dates Taylor or evil girlfriend. It's, it's a mindset that a lot of teenage girls have, like, I know what's best for this guy. And it's like, you know what, you don't, because you are not that person. And I'm sorry, but you have a very biased opinion because you were interested in dating this guy. So, you can't really say anything. Sorry, love. I mean, unless there's clearly an abusive situation going on, you have no right to comment on somebody else's love life. But yeah, this women hating women trope, it's just, it's just overdone, and it's unrealistic, and it also, you know, c continues the idea that girls should always be in competition with each other, and that's wrong. Because, you know what, we shouldn't be in competition with each other over guys, because guys, stupid. And all throughout the song, I just, all of her songs, 
I feel like Taylor Swift is just so insincere and just so knowing exactly what every teenage girl wants to hear. Because every teenage girl who loves Taylor Swift listens to a new song and go, that is my life. That is my life. She understands. And she's like, yeah, she understands. She knows exactly what you want to hear. So those are my reasons why I don't like Taylor Swift. Because... I'm not even just kind of a not perpetuating good ideas within her music. And that is very important to me. And and plus I think her like weird country pop style that she has is annoying. Farewell. That was the worst curtsy I've seen in my life. Farewell. You're gonna be trying to do like a curtsy in about the same time. Doesn't work. Ducks.